Want to see something really scary? You know, there was a time when the Republicans had the monopoly on endorsing probably one of the dumbest ideas ever. This is exactly the kind of over-the-horizon thinking that has brought Idaho's own solar roadways to national and world prominence. But amazingly, we now have bipartisan agreement on... We're here in the community of Peachtree Corners, Georgia, where there is a solar panel built into the roadway. Uh, it's uh, one of the first of its kind, helping to charge cars from the very road. That this is the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg. The cars drive on, just one example of the future that is possible, the economy that is possible as we move to electric vehicles in this country. The Biden-Harris administration is committed to accelerating that progress, creating jobs and meeting our climate goals at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Now, where have I heard that before? Yeah, no kidding. The economy is in the toilet. Do you realize how many thousands of jobs this could create and sustain? Talk about a hypodermic adrenaline shot to the heart of the manufacturing and infrastructure sector. And it pays for itself. They're solar freaking roadways. Yeah, set your expectation meters to you have got to be kidding me, even for a politician. I mean, let's just say for the sake of argument that the panels that he's standing in front of were abandoned by the French company that made them about two years ago as unviable. Oh, and you're damn right. I'm just getting warmed up here. Colas, a world leader in road construction, now presents Wattway, the first ever photovoltaic road service in the world. I heard that if we installed solar panels across 1% of the world's deserts, we could produce enough energy to cover the entire world's needs. And what if we took this idea one step further? What if we used roads to produce solar energy? Specialists in road innovation have already started working on the idea. Whilst others, like Dave from EEV Blogs, had done some calculations and worked out this was going to be a train wreck. It, it, it's done and dusted. Why the hell would you pay for solar roads that give you half the output at best? Who do you think is going to be right here? With a road surface that is able to self-produce clean energy, I can just imagine how much progress could be made. The Ray Foundation is so excited. The Wattway Solar Road is but one imagining of how clean energy can be generated. The road surface is being better utilized by Wattway as the road can generate clean energy for our communities. Providing electricity to homes, buildings, streetlights, urban furniture. And in 2015, when they released it, it looked amazing. Chairman and CEO of Colas said, today our Wattway process is unique on a global level. The solar road will play a part in the energy transition and is a building block for smart cities. I wonder what it looks like now. So let's just take some random point on the road and take a look at the state of the what way. It would also be an intelligent road, able to adapt to traffic conditions to read and interpret traffic flows. Possibilities in the future with Huawei are really endless. If you think about the possibilities, electric vehicles, uh, energy to your home, uh, energy to your business, lighting, uh, it's an exciting future to think about. Electric vehicles could recharge their batteries using the road surface as they drive. Totally revolutionary. And a couple of years later, in an article entitled First Solar Roadway in France Turns Out to Be a Total Disaster, just to give you a feel, solar panel electricity generation over time generally fades away at a few percent a year, that sort of thing. And giving them an operational lifespan of about 30 years, that sort of thing. These solar roadways actually only generated about half the power they were meant to in the first place and then proceeded to lose 50% of their power generating capacity per year. Some back of an envelope calculations. So the first three or so years, this installation was averaging about 80,000 kilowatt hours per year. According to this website here, a four kilowatt system will generate about 3000 kilowatt hours per year, which means if you're just sticking the solar panels by the side of the road for about half a million dollars, you could generate about as much energy as this solar roadway did. And how much did the solar roadway cost? 
about $5 million, with the added advantage that the conventional solar array system would be good for another 20 years, whilst the solar roadway was essentially destroyed after three. If only someone could have seen that putting fragile solar panels on the roadway wasn't the smartest of ideas. And you think that equipping a mere 10% of the planet's road networks would cover 100% of all of mankind's energy needs? Managing Director Etienne Guandin told Le Monde that this roadway wouldn't be going to market. And that was from Colas, a major road construction company. Cool, so a total disaster in 2019 in France. Tell us again, Pete, what the future of America is. We're here in the community of Peachtree Corners, Georgia, where there is a solar panel built into the roadway. Uh, it's uh, one of the first of its kind, helping to charge cars from the very road. That's now, you might think that we're at peak stupidity already. No, this is only the beginning. So let's take a look at this amazing new solar roadway installation in Georgia. The future of American power generation. So exciting to see it in person. And of course, yes, it's outside the city hall. Because yeah, where else would you make a monument to burning money? And you might think, I can't actually see a lot. And I can see the size. How big was this? solar roadways installation and it's like okay let's 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 go take a look down and see well there's city hall um and that is the entire the entirety of the solar roadway installation that's it of the future that is possible the economy that is possible as we move to electric vehicles in this country and you can see that even with modest light traffic it's still pretty worse for wear now i'm sure many of you will be thinking okay that's it we've got to have hit peak stupidity here no if we scroll down from pete's amazing announcement on solar roadways you come to this love it but Pete is standing by panels made by our competitors in France. We are an American company and the inventor of solar roadways. American. We would love to show Pete our multi-featured solar road panels. So let's go take a look at their solar road panel installation, which is in Sandpoint, Idaho. One of the worst places in the world to put a solar installation. And that's bizarre. Their solar roadway doesn't appear to be in the road. In fact, it is unique in being the only solar roadway installation in the world that has never had a car drive on it. And let's let's just take a look at that, shall we? Let's let's go in and see if we can get a nice view of just how big that uh, solar roadway installation is. Wow, it really doesn't look like it's a roadway. It's more like a... Um, patio maybe now it's amazing isn't it who could possibly support the development of solar roadways that you can't drive cars on let's take a quick look shall we diane writes oh my god this is such exciting news secretary pete you are part of future generations that will be thanking you for stepping up congratulations earth heart and cool and Solar freaking roadways were just ahead of their time. To which Solar Roadways responds, Thank you. We've now successfully completed five government contracts and are now developing our fifth road panel model. So let's just briefly remind ourselves of the uh, success of Solar Roadways, which will, of course, end in the conclusion that uh, all the money that was spent on this would have actually been better spent if we'd actually just burnt it and used it to run a power station. These wonderful, intelligent people want to begin manufacturing a technology that can power the future of the whole freaking planet. You need to know about this technology. You need to get behind it. You need to share it with everyone you know, because this is actually happening. Whoa. Imagine if the roads we drive on, just like the leaves of a tree, could absorb photons emitted from the sun to generate energy. Sounds too good to be true? Well, a small business out of Idaho named Solar Roadways claims to have figured it out, and Missouri's Department of Transportation is taking an interest. 
Yeah. So after spending the best part of $2 million of government money. And we are the DOT that are working with Federal Highway and Solar Roadways with some Federal Highway research dollars to begin that first public deployment of their technology by a state DOT. And another $2 million of Kickstarter money, they delivered this installation. As you can see, some of the workmanship here is absolutely pathetic. The idea that you're going to make roads out of these things is just, ah, oh. look at this. <laughs> Look at this! Along with another dead LED. That's pathetic. Now, sure, you couldn't actually drive a car on it. You know, it wasn't really a, a roadway as such. But at least it did generate some power. So let's start with the solar panel degradation. You might recall from earlier, they lose about 1% of their power generating capacity over about a year. Not quite so much with the American solar roadways. They lost 70% of their power generating capacity over a year. Yeah, that's about enough to make the French solar roadways look like professionals. But it turns out they really didn't matter that much anyway, because the entire power generation of this solar array here was going to be about $30 over its lifetime. Oh, and did I mention that they're also solar panels? They generate electricity, they generate capital. They pay for themselves and they keep paying more because we're not gonna run out of sun for like 15 billion years. $30 of power generation on a half million dollar piece of infrastructure. That's not quite the best return on investment. Gonna save this planet and make it sustainable for your kids and all future generations of life who can look back and say, hey, at least they invented solar freaking roadways. Please follow the link to Indiegogo.com. Meet Scott and Julie Broussard, check out their work, and get informed. This isn't just donating. It's an investment in a real future. Let's do this. Peak stupidity? No, not quite yet. Peak stupidity is when you take a perfectly good idea. Like, say, for instance, in putting a solar array on the roof of a building, like the town's public toilet, say, for instance. And then you say... I know, let's make them three times less efficient by laying them flat on the ground. You know, rather than angling them towards the sun. And now, let's drive cars on them. Because what can possibly go wrong? And then, after you find out, some years later, that the return on investment from this brilliant idea is about 10 cents in a thousand dollars. And, on top of that, this is on a roadway that uh, no one can ever drive a car on. Once you know all of that, you say, I've got a great idea. Let's put up the exact same video that we did in 2014. Just like there's been no progress made at all in the last seven years and see who throws money at it. And watch people throw two and a half million extra dollars at this. Yeah, the, this is the American version, the amateur hour version compared to the Colas Wattway. And the, at least Colas, you could drive on their solar road. And the American version, the amateur version, still raised two and a half million dollars on start engine. And they valued their company at $30 million. That means they didn't just sell their junk company for two and a half million dollars. They sold 10% of their junk company for two and a half million dollars. And yeah, they broke records with how quickly it was financed. Fully funded in less than 22 hours. Oh boy. Now that, that is peak stupidity. And this is pretty much why I'm here on YouTube. You see, the simple reality is that grandiose bullshit claims are a money printing machine, while saner, less sensational voices debunking those self-same bullshit claims. Well, where's the profit in that? But if you want to support that voice, then I'd be grateful if you'd share this video with your friends, such that the next time folks like this put in a grant application to the Department of Transport, maybe someone will say, Hang on, don't I remember seeing something like this on YouTube as to why driving on solar panels really isn't a uh, smart or revolutionary idea? Because let's be honest, Department of Transport is probably in need of some better advisors. Congratulations on the selection of Tucker County, West Virginia as a location of the new Hyperloop Certification Center. And as ever, if you really like the work of this channel, 
and want to support it directly, you can do it through Patreon. And, uh, thanks for watching.